Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I have some not so fun products to share with you guys. This is my box of fails. So I tend to collect my fails over a period of time and then I'd like to share them with you all at one time. So if you'd like to see them more frequently, let me know because maybe I could add them to my monthly favorites and fails type of thing. But either way, this is how I have it for right now. So the first one on top is something that's probably going to be a little bit maybe you guys might not agree with me so this is the Kapari coconut crush scrub so there's a couple reasons why I don't like this scrub one is it's pricey that's it's plain and simple it's pricey the other reason is it smells off it smells like play-doh almost but it's I think it's supposed to smell like brown sugar but it doesn't smell like brown sugar it smells like play-doh so you can tell I didn't use a ton of it because I just hated it and you guys know how much I love body scrubs so you would think that I would be totally into this because it's Kapari and everything but it just doesn't smell good I don't like the consistency to it the consistency it comes out looking like I don't know it just tends to kind of flake off it like comes out in big chunks so it's really weird the consistency is as well not only that I find that when you get this in your bathtub good luck getting it out of your bathtub it's hard to get out of your bathtub and not only that it leaves behind because it's got like I think coffee or something in here I'm not even sure what it is but when you leave it in your bathtub and you happen to forget about it and there's big old glo globs of this brown looking junk in your bathtub and you happen to have a guest over it's quite embarrassing because they're like I'm not sure what's in your tub but either way I just don't think this is a good product I think it smells not so good it smells kind of like play-doh but almost like sour play-doh it doesn't smell like brown sugar to me I don't like the consistency to it you have to use this dry I'd rather use a scrub in the tub so when you are using it in the shower you're not supposed to be wet when you're using it then you're supposed to rinse it off it's just too weird I don't like it I think it's not that great so for me it's not something I will ever purchase again the next thing is the Wish. This is the exfoliating foot mask. This does absolutely nothing for my feet. Like literally nothing. It comes out like water basically. It's supposed to be like a gel consistency, but it comes out very watery. I put it on my feet and I'm like, okay, the next morning I should see a little bit of a difference. Nothing. It did nothing for my feet. I used it for a solid two weeks straight and I saw no difference whatsoever. So for me, I think this is a fail as well. The next one is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. So this, the reason why I don't like it, I don't think it looks good on my skin. For some reason, I know it's supposed to be like a tinted type of product, so it's kind of like a, a BB cream. It doesn't even act like a BB cream. It just acts really weird on my skin. It doesn't perform well for dry skin, and it doesn't, I don't think it was meant for like oily skin or anything I think you could use any for I think it for any skin type it just doesn't look good for some reason when I put it on I find that it kind of peels up a little bit onto my skin it acts kind of like the benefit primer that I hate so I don't like this not for me whatsoever the next thing is my Amope I don't know how you pronounce it this is the little foot scrubber thing not scrubber but like the the petty thing so the reason why I don't like this is there I turned on I'm like how do you turn this thing on forget it's been a while since I've used it the reason why I don't like this is because it doesn't really do much for your feet. And when you're pressing down onto your feet to kind of like, if you're like scrubbing your feet with this, you want to get a good scrub with it. You want it to remove all that dead skin off. You press down and then it like, it like powers down. It's not really powers down, but it like bogs down. So it bogs down and it doesn't want to power at all. And I'm like, this thing is not worth it at all for me. So, and you have to keep replacing these little pieces here. So I'd rather just get a foot stone polish and polish my feet myself. I can go as hard as I want to. And then I don't have to worry about like worrying with this thing that doesn't work that great. So if you have this tool and you love it, let me know what, I'm, maybe I'm doing something wrong with it. So anything that I tell you guys about today that maybe you have it and you use it and you enjoy it, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong with it. You could tell me some tips and tricks on it that would be great the next thing is from makeup revolution this is the bacon blot I had intentionally wanted to give this more shots and more shots and more shots and the more shots I give it the more I'm like I just don't like this powder I think it doesn't look good on my skin it makes my skin look so dry it like sinks into every single fine line I have it makes me look a lot older it just is not a good powder for me so I don't like powders that just sink into all your fine lines and just age you if I wanted to look aged then I would just like do it myself I could add extra powder and, and do it myself I don't need this powder here to do it for me so didn't like that the next thing is the Sol de Janeiro this is the Coco Cabana cream I hate the way this smells actually no that's not true the smell to it isn't terrible it's not terrible at all okay a little bit a little bit it smells like popcorn a little bit but at the same time not really I don't know it's just a really odd scent 
the reason why I don't like this is because it's so sticky. You put it on and like you feel like a fly trap. I feel like if I would walk outside and like there were gnats flying around, they would all just stick to me. It's just not a good product in my opinion. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream is the best so far. And the ICI one's pretty good as well. But the uh, Coca Cabana, no, it's not good. Just not for me. The next thing is an Avon palette. This is the Avon True Colors Eyeshadow Quad in Berry Love. So you get these shades in here. They look very pretty. However, they don't work that great. So the colors in here are like are not super pigmented. They didn't blend very well. I just didn't have a good time with this palette. The only color in here that I actually liked is number three, which is this color right here, which I know I have like a ton of in my collection. So for me, this just was not a great product. It's too... I think it'd be great for like a very natural look if that's what you're going for that would be good for that but for me it just it's felt kind of subpar the next thing is something that came in one of my subscription boxes this is the skin and co aqua illuminate truffle therapy illuminating skin refresh mist I think there's something in here that just makes this product smell off for me I don't know what the ingredient is but this just smells like like moldy water it just doesn't smell good at all in my opinion when I spray it on my face it feels like I'm spraying mold on my face and I'm like ew so for me I just did not enjoy this whatsoever that is something that is getting decluttered from my collection all of these things are getting decluttered unless it's like a, a, like literally a bad product like it's gone rancid or something then I'm going to see if somebody else could use them see if maybe they like it better than I do because for me these are just things that did not work for me the next thing is a nail polish this is the pretty woman nail polish and it's in the shade very wild so it's a really pretty color like there's the color to it but it takes a ton of coats to get this color and it chips almost immediately as soon as you put it on so it's like the worst polish that I've ever tried for my nails because I'm like I'm not that great with nail polish in the first place but when you put the effort in to actually polish your nails and you have to put like three or four coats of polish on and then like the next day they're already chipping no 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 there's other polishes that I can get that'll do it better and less coats the next thing is not a product fail. This is a fail because I chose the wrong color. I did choose all of these colors from the Besame Cosmetics. These are their um, powders. So how do I open this? I can't figure out how to open it now. Okay, so this one here is in the shade Vanilla Chai, chai, chai Powder. I think it's Chai. Yeah, Chai Powder. So basically this one is just too deep for me. That's the only reason I didn't like it. It's just too deep for me. It was my fault. So if you're looking for one and you have a skin tone deeper than mine, this would work for you. So this is nothing wrong with the product at all. It just, the color was not working for me. So good product, just chose the wrong color, my fault. The next thing is the e.l.f. This is a setting powder. This is terrible. This is like the worst setting powder I've ever tried from any brand, honestly, besides the Makeup Revolution one. I think the Makeup Revolution one is actually better than this one. This one just makes my skin look very, very dry. It makes it look like I just packed the powder on. It looks like I baked and then baked and then baked and then just left it set. So this just does not look good on my skin, not so, not at all. The next thing is a highlighter from e.l.f. This is a this came in like a collection. I don't remember what collection it was, but it's like a yellowy based highlighter. It just doesn't look good on my skin. And and I think it's not very like pigmented and not only that it's very powdery so like when you put it on it's not really a highlighter it's like powder you're putting powder in your skin not a highlighter so I'm like a uh, fail the next thing is from Avon again this is the Avon true color the ideal nude cream concealer the reason why I don't like this is because it doesn't work good for dry skin I find that it's too thick and cakey and it makes my under eyes look a lot more pronounced than what it actually is so for me this is just not a good product as well then we have the Too Faced this is the Damn Girl Mascara I don't like the wand to this whatsoever I think the formula to it is mm, mediocre at best but the wand for me is what really I was like no that wand is huge like look like it's like almost as big as my eyeball that wand is way too big I am terrible at mascara so for me to try to mascara that's like that big of a wand no too intimidating we have a few more products in here <clears throat> the next thing is another mascara this is the NYX worth the hype it's not worth the hype it doesn't really do much at all actually it's like really a fail it's a basic fail so it just doesn't do anything it doesn't give you length it doesn't give you volume basically it just puts a little bit of color on your lashes and that's all it really did so for me it's not worth the hype the next one is from oh I almost dropped it this is from Il Mac 
Makajish, Il Makajish, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. So this is the Encore Volume All Day Lasting Water Resistant Mascara. I don't love water resistant mascaras, first of all. Second of all, the wand to this is terrible. So like, the wand to this one is just too wonky, like too small. It's not that it's too small, the size is good, but it's wonky, like it doesn't help you to coat your lashes. It didn't give me much length, it didn't give me much volume. Again, it was one of those where it's basically just putting some color on your lashes and that's all it really did. Then we have another one that did the same thing. We have an e.l.f. one. This is the Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. It, the only thing that actually is true in there is that it's waterproof. The rest is not true. It's not water, it's not lengthening, and it's not volumizing. It doesn't really do much at all for your lashes, so another fail. Lots of mascara fails. Then we have the Tarte, this is the Tarte Lash Paint Mascara. The reason why I don't like this is the wand to it is like that very hard plastic and if you get this too close to your eyeball you will poke it and it hurts like the dickens. Don't like the wand to that at all so another fail for me for mascaras. I'm very picky with mascaras I'm realizing. Then we have the Babe Lash Volumizing Mascara. The reason why I don't like this one is another wand issue. The wand to this one is like curved up and then it's flat. It's just really hard to work with. I'm like what in the world am I supposed to do with this thing? And it I don't know, it just didn't work well for me for like trying to apply it because again, I'm not an expert mascara app applicator, applier, whatever it's called. I'm not an expert at putting mascara on so it just it was too hard for me to use. The last thing is the Star Looks. This is the Celestial Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil. So this is the like green shade. So it's really pretty, right? But you have to literally like I am sitting here and like it's breaking off. That's how hard I'm pressing onto my hand. You have to like literally go into where you'd be dragging your eye with this. It's way too hard of an eyeliner so it's just not creamy enough. For me this was another fail. It does last for a long time. Once you get it onto your skin it'll last a long time but getting it on your eyeballs. Good luck. So that is all the fails that I have to share with you guys. If you want to see this more frequently let me know because I know that I so again, if you guys would like to see this more frequently, I can do that because I know I at least have like one fail per month. So maybe I can just add it to the faves and fails. Or if you prefer it where I save them up and just show you a bunch at one time, let me know what you would prefer because that's, to me, it's just easier to do it this way as long as I can remember why I didn't like the product, which I remembered everything here. So I worked out, that worked out great. Anyway, I'd love to hear some products that didn't work for you guys. Let me know so that I can kind of steer clear of them. Or if you have any tips or tricks on any of these products before I kind of pass them along if they're passed and if you have any tips or tricks on these let me know as well thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later